SOLIDWORKS makes saving 3MF files easy. From the file menu, go Save As. Change the drop down menu to 3MF. You'll find options in 3MF for saving appearances and materials. You can customize the curvature select fine or predefined course i've already saved one so we'll save some time here we'll switch over to unity in unity it's just basically a drag and drop with solid projection and it takes some time to open this file is quite large was a 150 megabyte assembly in SOLIDWORKS. The 3MF file that was generated is 36 megabytes. So right now the 3MF is importing natively 3D meshes, materials, textures, and it is also instancing those components so then they are not used more than once. If a face is colored it will treat that face independently from the body's color and that way you can isolate certain areas in within SOLIDWORKS to color differently. For example if you had applied a split face to a part in order to color a logo with a certain uh, texture. That will be maintained when it gets brought over into Unity 3D. So right now the, the process has just finished and you can notice that it showed up in the tree here. I just drag and drop it into my environment I'm going to scale it just so then it's a little bit larger. And we can move around this assembly. Take a look inside. You can see here that the full tree structure was maintained. They're basically a part of assemblies. And here's the bodies. The bodies has the mesh, the material. And then here's the material previewed here. So that's how easy solid projection makes bringing things from SOLIDWORKS into Unity.